Good evening, Theo Trade. This is Corey Rosenblum, and you're watching the Theo Notley video for the 11th of November here in 2021. We have a market pulling back, and that's from the, in the S&P futures, the 4700 level. We'll take a look at these on the pullback. That's continuing the thought process from last Tuesday night's video, and that was kicked off by Tesla, and it continues its pullback. So what is a pullback, and what does that mean? Markets, they get overbought overextended and this is an extreme example do tend to pull back and there are trading ideas around this logic one of which is to fade but when a market goes parabolic that becomes difficult fade means to go short when the market is going up and if we're going to fade the other way fade means to buy when the market is dipping down so that's the playback and markets when they go up they do pull back so that's an up extended rally and that's the pullback that's the sell swing or the return back to earth that's occurring in a few stocks nvidia is similar a little bit to tesla qualcomm is up in the stratosphere as well and we see netflix that's a pullback that's a retracement so traders that for lack of a better term go short or play the pullback or play the fade would do so by purchasing puts or bearish positions and that will be done into a rising stock so when the market, as we discussed Tuesday, how do you quantify this? When a market's overbought, what does that mean? A lot of ways to quantify that, but one of which is percent above the 200-day simple moving average and or the 20-day. That's the 200-day is the red, and the 20-day is a little more of a short-term opportunity. And what's a 20-day? 20-day is basically one trading month. So if you take 20 days, which is about one month, and you average up all the prices that's what that green line will be and that becomes a target to play for on pullbacks we can also use the word snapback uh, rubber band pullback rubber band snapback or just a typical little flag that's where we'll start and with today's session not a lot occurred just quickly reviewing the s p there is your flat on the session the dow mini futures were down about a third of a percent but it was the russell which was the strongest index in today's session. That alone is a pullback. So that's what we're looking at and quantifying. And that is how far the market goes down, where might it target? And I think that's the 20 day moving average. I call it exponential or EMA. And that's just a regular standard tool within the Think or Swim platform. And you can put that under chart again, as I have it as a moving average exponential 20, that is about one month. 50 is about two and a half months and about 200 day I use the simple that's just what the price is for about a year and that gives a good reference point so in the broader market we can look at the ES we can look at the SPY which is our spider called the spider ETF SPY and that is tradable with options and other positions so it is playing off the 470 similarly in the what's called the QQQ or the NASDAQ ETF it's pulling back too so again, these are called pullbacks to use a market term. That was a deep pullback. That was deep. This was more shallow. This is playing out. So even though we're uptrending, uptrending markets tend to have higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. But when a market is extended away from its average or trend line or linear regression to be even more professional with the terms, the next move of the market tends to be a retracement. And again, that's what's occurring and what we're playing out. And as we focus on the what's happening right now on the Theo video updates in each evening, that's what's happening right now. And it's occurring in many, many stocks. To underscore that point, we like to scan for stocks making new 52 week highs. Do you recognize any of these names? A few of them potentially as an auto zone Sherman Williams is a paint company, Exelon, maybe some others, but you don't see Microsoft, you don't see Google, you don't see anything else under the sun that we normally have been seeing. For example, they're all pulling back. Microsoft continued to make 52 week highs, but it itself is pulling back. That's where we're looking and quantifying. And this is the middle of November and we're seeing the market retrace. That's giving rise or profits to the puts or the bear or the fade type of strategies, very short term. But that could give rise to little bullish strategies in the future. 
We like to mitigate risk by buying when a pullback is complete. And that pullback does not appear to be complete. A couple of other stocks, which include Apple. And just if you want to own your own time over the weekend, take a look at some of the trending stocks or at least the big market cap names or big monsters of tech. Apple being one of them, Microsoft another, Google, Facebook, Amazon, and creeping up into the list is Tesla. And Apple is actually shy of the high, but Google, or Alphabet, is similarly in an overbought pullback scenario. Now again, just the purpose of tonight's video talks about pullbacks, 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 retracements, return to earth, the gravity, but again, that's where we're playing at the moment. And then Google shares are trading down from 3,000 per share, which is a good little round number. Amazon trades next to or on under or from 3,600. Now note that Amazon is the only stock that we've seen so far for the most part that is not fulfilling this uptrend type of pattern. It's not really an uptrend. It's more of a sideways trend. And that's similar to the Russell as we'll see in a moment. There is no trend here. So what these are are fades from the top of a trading range, just like mean reversion. So if that's the mean or the average of the midpoint, when the market finds itself beneath it, that could be a return to the mean from the long of the bull side or up here. And if it finds itself above, that could be a return to the mean from the top side. Not necessarily a trend. If you want to call it anything, it's more of a sideways consolidation. And that's what's occurring in the IWM, which is the Russell. It had a breakout, but it is just pulling back, returning to Earth that had a rocket launch to the upside, but that seems to be pulling back to more reasonable prices or reasonable valuations. And to continue for the IWM, or that's your Russell RTY, that's roughly 235, 215, and 225. That is a return back from above. And in the Russell, similar logic, and we'll just highlight this before we turn loose for the evening to continue, which is 2400, 2400, 2250, and then just about 2100. A quick glance at other markets outside the equity futures or equities in the US, a similar pullback. Again, pullbacks are when the trend is going up, these are the phases that it retraces or the downswings, if you call those downswings. That's occurring here, here, and now. This is the now moment. This is what's occurring at the moment. That's crude oil. Gold is actually getting a bounce, getting a bid. But like the Russell, it is more sideways within a trading range. And the levels in gold are about 1875, really 1900, and about 1750 or 1725. That makes the midpoint, the average or the mean, the middle, about 1800. So that's where we are in those markets. The bond market was closed. We can look at TLT as it has its own short term trading range. And that's the focal point pullbacks and ranges in tonight's video. The weekend is upon us. Always be careful, be safe. Watch the market Friday and of course into the weekend. Have a great Friday and a great weekend. This is Corey Rosalind with tonight's Theo video update for November 11th, 2021.